my new book, Too High and Too Steep, Reshaping Seattle's Topography, is looking at the history of Seattle through the lens of the landscape and trying to tell stories about the big engineering projects that have shaped Seattle over time. Projects such as regrading Denny Hill, filling in the Duwamish Tide Flats, building the Ship Canal. And how were those projects, how did they come about? Why did they come about? What allowed them to happen from a geologic point of view? What allowed them to happen from an economic point of view? And really, who, who were the drivers in these projects? Seattle really is unique in the way we've reshaped the land. These were huge projects that were really unprecedented in scale. Denny Hill was 10 million cubic yards of material and completely changed the city and how people were able to move through the landscape. Really, they really were unprecedented. The two major areas that are really noticeable are the area south of downtown, what we think of where the stadiums are right now between Beacon Hill and West Seattle. All of that was a big tide flat, so half the day it would have been underwater and half the day it would have been this exposed mud flat. And that entire area has been filled in about 2,200 acres of land. One of the modern aspects of manifestations of how we uh, still consider the topography of this city is of course Bertha and this tunnel going under Seattle and I think it really exemplifies the aspect that changing the topography has sort of become part of the DNA of Seattle. The settlers who arrived here came with the idea that they were going to change the landscape. We now worry that the landscape is going to change us, yet we still have to address that. We still have to deal with getting from point A to point B. It's why we want to put a tunnel under the city instead of having a seismically vulnerable viaduct. It's why we're rebuilding the seawall, because we recognize the earthquake problems, we recognize the sea level rise problems. So we're going to continue to shape the landscape, and the landscape is going to continue to shape us.